Hello beautiful people from the internet, it is Connie over here and today I am going to be doing another smoke trick tutorial. Now, I have done this smoke trick tutorial, which is the French inhale, but I feel like I've done it in a way where I can now redo it and explain it probably a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do here today. So yeah, it's simple. I feel like it's the easiest smoke trick to do, although a lot of people say that the ghost inhale is easier. No, it's not. Not for me at least, but this is, I feel like is the easiest trick to do. It's very straightforward and I'm just gonna teach you in a way that you are just gonna be able to do it like first try, all right? So let's light this up. Now, I would recommend you try this with a zero nicotine vape. And why I say that is because if you have a zero nicotine vape, you can just practice the trick a lot of times without inhaling a lot of nicotine. I will be doing it with a cigarette because right now I don't have any zero nicotine vapes, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, preferably I think that a vape is just best for tricks always just because it has a lot more smoke, but because I don't like the, the amount of nicotine that vapes have, I always just prefer a zero nicotine vape. But yeah, I'm talking so fast and so much already and let's just light it up and start expanding this because it's very easy. Let's go. All right, so you're just gonna light whatever you have, your cigarette, your vape device, your cigar, I don't know if you can do it with a cigar, your herb, whatever you have, just light it up. And the basis of this trick is very simple. The thing is, you are going to inhale with your nose and not with your mouth, as you, you usually would. Oh my god, my words are all jumbled up, as Jacob Jones would say. But, <clears throat> so, whew, I need to take a breath because I just keep talking too fast. All right, so you are going to inhale and then you are going to open your mouth a little bit. With you opening, opening your mouth, the smoke is gonna start coming out from your mouth a little bit. And the only thing you, you need to do is inhale from your nose after that. So you basically inhale. See, it's very easy. The only thing you need to do is put the smoke in your mouth. Do not inhale it into your lungs or anything like that. Leave the smoke into your mouth. And I usually like to puff my cheeks because I feel like it helps center the smoke in the middle of my mouth. So that's why I kind of puff my cheeks so that when I open my mouth, it all comes out kind of in the middle, you know? Now this cigarette is not giving me the vibes that I expected from it because it usually gives me a lot more smoke. And as I said, the more smoke you have, the best it is to do tricks just because it's easier. So I'm going to try to like light it really hard. All right, that's a little bit better. So then some tricks that I have for this is when you are opening up your mouth to let the smoke leave on its own, you kind of use your, the tip of your tongue to push the, to push the smoke a little bit more out. So you kind of do this like form, you know, but in, when the smoke is there, so your, your tongue is kind of not noticeable. And that's basically all of the basis for this trick. It's very simple. I feel like it's super easy because you don't really need to do much. You just need to open your mouth and then just inhale from your nose like you would inhale oxygen. You, you just do like, you just take a breath from your nose. Take a breath, like when the smoke is coming out and the smoke is gonna directly go into your nose and it's gonna look super cool. I'm not sure if you can hear me like breathe through my nose but yeah you are not inhaling with your mouth at all you are just doing everything with your nose because if you put the smoke in your mouth and you inhale it then you are not gonna have any smoke to like do the trick with and this is something that i used to do when i tried doing when i first like started attempting tricks was that i used to put the smoke in my mouth and then inhale and then i would think that the remaining smoke after you inhale it was the smoke that people did tricks with but no you don't inhale when you are trying to do tricks you like only inhale after the trick is finished so i used to do this and then try to do the trick with that little amount of smoke and that is not gonna work and i don't know why i thought that was the way that people did it um but yeah i really did think that i guess i'm just not very smart with understanding tricks but as I said, this one is easy. The only thing you need to do, leave the smoke in your mouth, like puff your cheeks to put the smoke in the center of your mouth. When you are opening your mouth, push the smoke a little bit with your tongue and then inhale from your nose. And that's it, that's it. You got the French inhale. Like there's not much to it, it's simple. I don't know why a lot of people say the ghost inhale is easier because I don't think it is. By the way, if you don't, if you don't know what a ghost inhale is, I'm gonna show it to you. I hope I get it right so I can show it, but it's this.
like I'm not very good at ghost inhaling, I'm gonna be honest, like it's kind of hit or miss, sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't, and I don't really know why, because when I get it, it looks really good, and it feels like I have the whole trick down, and I know what I'm doing, but then when I don't get it, it's like, feels like I'm just learning for the first time again. But the, basically the ghost inhale is just the one where the smoke comes out of your mouth in a little bubble form, and you just suck it back in with your mouth. The difference with this, with this trick is that you inhale with your nose instead of your mouth. I actually don't know why it's called a French inhale, I should go research on that, because it probably has a reason. But yeah, all you need to do is just inhale with your nose, it's that simple. Oh, another trick also. When you are, when the when you open your mouth to let the smoke come out and go into your nose, as you are doing the trick, try to close your teeth a little bit and at the same time push the smoke out with your tongue because if you close your mouth a little bit, the, the remaining smoke is gonna come out, you know? Because if you just leave your mouth open, I'm gonna show you. I feel like it's not as easy, but if you start closing your mouth a little bit, all of the smoke will just eventually come out and go into your nose. So start like closing your mouth very slowly, like closing your teeth together and pushing the smoke out with your tongue. You know, and that's it, my girlies and manlies, that's all you need to do to do that's all you need to know to do the French in hell. Yeah, I woke up like not too long ago, as you can probably tell. So. My words, also I'm getting hella buzzed, hello. Anyway, so my words are like not coming out very fluently right now, but that's basically all you need to do to do this trick. And yeah, and then there's a variant of the French inhale, which is called Bain inhale, where instead of the smoke coming out in a singular string, string or like two strings, it comes out in multiple strings, but I have not mastered that one yet. And I honestly don't really know how to do it well, so I'm not even gonna try to explain it. I'm gonna attempt to do it though. Like you kind of saw it, but it's re it was really messy. Like, I don't know, it's supposed to come out in multiple strings, but I don't really know, like, it's a different formation on your mouth and, like, the way you close your teeth, it's a little bit different to the French inhale, but because I don't really know how to do it, I'm not even, like, gonna talk about it because I have no clue what I'm doing, like, about the, the Bain inhale. But yeah, the French inhale is very simple, you just need to do that. So, let's review the steps, all right? Put the smoke in your mouth, do not inhale with your mouth or anything, leave the smoke there, puff your cheeks so the smoke gets centered, open your mouth a little bit, and the smoke will start to come out. Push the smoke out with your tongue and start closing your teeth a little bit and that's how you get the perfect French inhale. And yeah, that's it. It's easy, at least for me. It took me like three or four tries. Um, and yeah, when everyone was like, the French inhale is kind of hard, but if you do the ghost inhale, it's so much easier. Girl, no, it's not. I don't know why y'all are lying to me, but yeah, I'm kidding, I don't know. But either way, I hope that was helpful and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.